Okay, we are back. Now, before we jump right back into Alan Wake here, let me pause the game for a second. Alan, I'm awake. I'm awake. We're going to do we're going to do something else for a little bit here. If we were to do this regularly, we'd call it the Marty Minute. But man, I'm not actually yeah. planning on doing that. Um, no, I was thinking so, Arnett and chill, I think makes sense because that covers more topics. It might. You know, we'll see how it develops, but we might have a Marty Minute segment. Okay. I think we can, so do we promise watch, not to have Funk's any more gonna, Marty minutes Funk after is that? Gonna ambush us. He's going to give Marty the, the, the password to the mumble server. And then he probably all would. Be, we're all going to be in trouble. Uh, okay. okay. Well, you know what? Good point. Let me email him. The secret. Let's see if I can get him over <laughs> here. You want him in here? Like, look, I, no. I could do that myself if I wanted to do that. Um, we, should we call I, him? I don't, Let's call I don't him. know that he would answer, but Marty, what the F man? What the F? Oh, how you doing, Marty? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. I love how your timer came up too. Yeah, you got to fix that. Link. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I did that. Um, but okay, yeah, so, thinking about retiring from video games for good. Yep. Yeah, now he deleted this. Um, Not the worst idea. Uh, right after he tweeted that, somebody asked him, "Hey, why?" And he tweeted that. Ask and then me. I he yeah. Oh. That too. oh my god. Okay. And uh, and then he pointed after that that he's going to have to shut down his YouTube. Oh, that's a bummer. Now, the interesting thing about all this is that I actually noticed, and I think I pointed out to, to, to people, I think I may have mentioned it to Blackstar, I may even have mentioned it on, on the show, that I thought it was weird that sometime in the last few years, Marty had been putting up a lot of Halo-era uh, extra content on his yes. YouTube channel. Oh, oh, oh let's which, clarify that. Other people's... Yeah, Halo well, I'll, content. I'll, get, I'll get to that. So anyway, so there, so there are stories that are out today. This one's from Screen Rant saying, you know, I'm maybe forced to shut down my YouTube channel. Um, here's a thread at NeoGAF, which is very pro Marty. There's a lot of Reddit threads that are pretty much like Bungie's picking on Marty, make him stop. Marty, Marty invented destiny. Um, what? You know, no, really, they, because they, I have some Reddit literally. comments that are yeah. so wrong mm -hmm. on the other side. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess not on the other side. They're still pretty yeah. Or on their <laughs> side. We'll, we'll, get to, we'll get to that, Funk, because I'll have one up. So, uh, so yeah, he was also uh, asking people, yeah, yeah, please purchase the soundtrack to Golem. The money will help with my huge <laughs> legal bills. Um, mm. Which made me wonder if he was fighting it, because, mm. uh, like, normally... You can't fight like, the YouTubes. Well, no, mm -hmm. see, that's what I don't get. Like, if if Microsoft or Bungie had owned rights clearly to any pieces of content that he could put up and issued DMCA, he would be on three strikes already because there was more than three items of content that were in this category. Yes. He, his channel would be gone already. And legal bills bye tells bye. me either there's something else also going on or he's planning on trying to fight to put this content back. Um... So it's hit a bunch of different websites uh, today, as we can see. Um, this was from last year, where he basically was coming out and saying that like everybody knew the Activision deal was bad, even when they did it. Uh, here are a bunch of Reddit threads also on this, on this issue. And this is the one I want to bring up, because this is actually in the Destiny subreddit. Now, apparently, Marty had been in the last few years in the Destiny subreddit, trying to promote his some. other content. Because um, he doesn't follow rules, and they keep Removing his threads. Because well, they don't yeah. apply I mean, to him. He, he was posting, it, it's a Destiny subreddit, he was posting stuff that was not related to Destiny, and when they removed his stuff, he basically said, well, I don't know about your rules, but I thought you would know who I am. And people were like, dude, you literally walked in here and said, do you know who I am? And yeah, so he then did, he did yeah. an AMA, and like, and he linked, he promoted the non-Destiny related stuff in every answer in the AMA, which I thought was interesting. Um, I'm sorry, if is, you're one of those people that have to say, do you know who I am? Yeah. Now, this Ugh. is a post uh, from In the Last 24 Hours by Brini04. It is in the uh, the Destiny of the Game subreddit, and it actually does a pretty good summary going back to, hey, that time that Activision used Led Zeppelin music in an ad for Destiny, and nobody liked that, but mostly Marty didn't like that, and then what happened I later, thought it was fine. Which seemed to be that the other people in the audio department were saying that Marty was slowing down and maybe they were going to miss milestones. And that's what 
ended up with him being given a bad review and being terminated. And then they tried to take his stock away. And then there was a lawsuit and he got his stock back. But when he got the stock back, it was non-voting because they changed the way the shares were issued while he wasn't on the board. Um, so uh, yeah, lots of, lots of different stuff. And this is the Kotaku story that has the most stuff in there. But I was wondering, hey, what are you talking about? What is this stuff about YouTube channel? What's going on there? So I actually went and I looked at his channel today and basically it was all like, you know, uh, personal stuff or you know, interviews with him uh, and a lot of stuff about uh, Golem. And most of the stuff that's, if it relates to Halo or Destiny, it's usually just interviews with him, presentations he's done at trade, at, you know, at trade events and stuff like that. Then I thought I'd look in the Waymac machine because I was sure that I had seen Halo extra content on the YouTube channel. So I went back and looked uh, in 2020 and 2019 and 2018 and looked for some other stuff. So this is from July in 2020, and it's got Halo Inception, Brother in Arms, Music of the Spheres, which is Destiny content. Uh, this archive is from... November of 2020. It's also got Music of the Spheres on it. Um, this one is from December 2020. And it's got a lot of the same content, including Music of the Spheres. And this one, which is from, I believe it's from June. So this is just, uh, what is this? Yeah, June 4th basically has a playlist here called Behind the Scenes, which has got Paul McCartney Destiny stuff, the making of Halo 3 audio, the making of Halo 3 story, a Bungie Halo 3 Vidoc, even titled the way they titled that Vidoc, which was Cinema yep. Paradiso. Um, behind the Scenes of Making of Halo 2, Jen Taylor's voice outtakes, Halo 2 voice outtakes. Uh, and as far as I can tell, all of this stuff is, all of this stuff is gone now. And he has some really oh, weird actually, no, stuff actually, in looks there, like too. some of this... Ah, okay, so here it is. The behind-the-scenes playlist currently now only has one video on it. It is a two-minute video about the fanfare for video games thing, which uh, Marty did for an awards presentation. But notice the full playlist, it says, has 14 videos on it. But they all appear to be hidden now. <laughs> Or private or just removed from public yeah. viewing. He had a video yeah. up there that seemed familiar to me. Like, I've seen it somewhere before, but I'm not sure why. And it was called Bungie in 1996. Uh, yes, that one is on there. Uh, in fact, actually, Bungie Before that? Halo Hit 2 here is here. Uh, Bungie oh. Pentathlon videos. Like, like these are all. And then there was okay, one so that was actually some... pretty weird. Um, this one, the Wayback Machine doesn't have. This is called Halo the Movies DVD, and it had a thumbnail that showed a DVD Whoa. menu that looked like a lot of sound test stuff and other outtakes. And he uh, wrote when he posted this, no, this isn't the 100K subscriber special. No idea when or what that'll be. So while you wait, here's a bonus video. We made this over <clears> 18 years ago. The statute of limitations is up. And it was what? only given to Bungie employees. You can find all this on the internet, but here's how the DVD looked. So I mean I That's imagine that not a thing. you know a bunch of this a bunch of this stuff was on I think Halo 3 and Halo 2 DVDs as extras um and you know they were other film production companies that were hired to make this stuff and it, presumably all this content either belongs to the people who made it or belongs to Microsoft or or possibly yeah. in the case of Film uh, Oasis music, Spheres, Bungie apparently Activision. belongs to Bungie now again there there have been some 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 things where the rights aren't that simple, where, where I think some stuff he did they, was not they never are. work for hire. Like the Flintstones thing that he did, he owned that, and he was getting residuals when that got played. I think at some point he said that that was what was going to pay for his kids to go to college. But I just thought since uh, Marty was blowing up the internet today, that we would, we, we, we would point this out. There's a, there's a thread here that started... Um, I think it was just a Reddit thread that started off a please stop please stop bullying Marty, but then it was, it was deleted. Yeah. Please apologize to Marty O'Donnell. And then now the text says removed. Wow. And the first okay. answer is lol. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Obviously. Okay. So, so for those, uh, yeah. Now in the know, what's your take? 
Well, I am I am kind of surprised because, like I said, I mean, if if we had done that kind of stuff and somebody wanted to put up claims against our content, like that would be three strikes easy, and yeah, the channel yeah, no would just be destroyed. So. And, See ya. Yeah. We, well, we, 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 my no question recourse, pretty much. is, what would Marty's reaction have been if somebody else was doing this with his material, with his music, with his stuff? It's a fair you question. mean to tell me that you wouldn't mm. be behaving or acting in a certain way to prevent someone from putting stuff that they did not own on the internet on their YouTube channel? Yeah. I so, actually think so, Marty in the past has been pretty okay about sharing things. I remember um claude had had he he wanted to do something on hbo where he needed he needed the people on hbo to know the track on a pale horse so marty right. said uh yeah just go ahead and post it you're okay uh, totally that's fine. a track but do you think he would feel the same way right. if somebody put the, up the, the, the golem soundtrack <laughs> Oh, but if no. you remember, okay. for for various reasons, not the not the least of which I think was the existence of Red versus Blue, you know, Microsoft yeah. put out a fairly fan friendly license for yes. using content, and that would have included yeah. not only the audio visuals from the games, and that pretty much includes Marty's music as well. So it wasn't it wasn't even like he was granting permission for a lot of that stuff. I'm not even sure it was it it would even have been up to him. To say right. no. But um, I'm, I'm just saying that for anything that he knew that was his, that he had worked on, is absolutely under his yeah. copyright um, and or control. He, how would he, he feel if that here, suddenly showed up someplace? He did have in here as well uh, an interview that Miguel did with him at uh, at an event. I'm not, I'm not sure I can find which one of those uh, is here right now. Uh, for those who don't know, is Miguel Chavez. He's the yeah. official Bungie number one fan. He was a major uh, person oh, yeah, in the halo.bungie.org site and days. Miguel 2000 so. Macworld. <laughs> now, again, yeah. I, like, if I'm oh, sure if Marty asked for permission to post that video, I'm sure Miguel would have given it. But it, is, it may be an open question whether or not he did. Oh, yeah, and here's that, here's that I, Halo the Movies I DVD. I think that video is still on Bungie sighting, so, I mean... Okay, well, here's my question. Is. is that same content... That may have been hosted on other, say, Halo websites. Just, yeah. just for for level thinking here, is someone telling somebody to take the same stuff off of Halo.bungie.org or off of Rnet or off of any of the other I major? Know. I don't think you know, we even have Halo most Planet of that stuff or, left anymore. And I, right, I honestly but if don't they know did, what's what's left of that stuff? If anybody okay. asked us to take anything down that we'd ever mirrored, yeah, we take it I off. Do it. I mean, there's no question. Yeah. We don't assert ownership rights over any of the stuff. No. Other than in fact, we have disclaimers we everywhere. Ourselves, and yes. we make it under, you know, presumptions of fair use or licenses yes. that companies have said where it's like, okay, to make let's plays of our games. And stuff. Yeah. My own site has got disclaimers and, this big saying and we, we don't, don't own like, any of this. Like the companies that are the worst about those things are, are ones that we generally don't deal with. Like we don't do any Nintendo games partially out of lack right. of personal interest. But even if we did, they would be attempting to monetize just about everything we do so oh yeah and yeah that's and, not where we want to be again we're doing it for free so we don't really care but no you know but it but it bothers other people because they're they're doing this yeah for big time I, i've always thought yeah i mean if we're not monetizing if we're, and, and we're not making any money out of this we've never made any money off of this this is a hobby uh but for people that it's a business i can understand but also if my content has showed up places because that you know original things that i've worked on back in the day i remember a contest back for the uh, 360. Uh, I think it was uh, just before Halo uh, 2 or 3 was being released on it, or there was something that they were adding to it, where they were coming up with different interfaces and designs, where they were, had this big contest on HBO on on what would you change the 360 layout to be, because apparently it was a whole big controversy at the time. And believe it or not, 14 out of 21 submissions used graphics and original art that I made. And I was just absolutely fascinated i thought it was great i thought it was awesome that they did that but when you searched on the internet for that and you could actually look for those things it's like yeah that's a composite of things that i had made that people had added stuff or taken out or removed and whatever and i, I just thought it was great but i wasn't making any money off of it they weren't making any money off of it so it's like what's what's the big deal people composite things all the time but for this when people own rights or money's involved and people's ownership they have to defend hence the lawyering yeah, that becomes a serious thing. And and I just think that if, you know, well, they've got the rights to it and they're, you know, exercising their, their perfect legitimate uh, uh, exercise of protecting that, why wouldn't he expect them to do that or he would not expect the same for himself? 
So Here's that that's something that's confusing to me. Are they? This the way this yeah. is playing out. I don't know if they are. So we've got a bunch of deleted tweets, right? And then Marty removed videos. Yes, yeah, that, they, that they, were they, either in, Film Oasis's, Bungie's, Activision's, yeah, Microsoft's, or somebody week, else's. Apparently, because yeah. a bunch of these are still up as of a week ago. Um, we don't also, I can't find exactly it now. I think they're not on. loading. But but uh, the the even the cutscenes to Myth were in there. The Myth One and Myth Two cutscenes, which if anybody owns them right now, it would be Take Two. It's not Microsoft or Bungie. Right. And again, when he said, "Oh, ask somebody who's causing me this problem," he said Pete Parsons, the guy, the get the CEO who took over. For the guy who got fired for the dispute with Bungie, because this whole thing was about him losing his shares and not getting back vacation pay, um, and he prevailed in that suit, at least on those particular points. Uh, and as a result, um, you know, Harold Ryan, who was was the CEO of Bungie at that point, was let was let go, and Pete Parsons took over. Tangled web we weave. I, so, I yeah, so, that, I, you know, I don't know. It seems all weird. I don't, no, there's I don't something really definitely going, going on, on, but you got to think if it was removed, it, he didn't yeah, do it yeah, out of the so goodness Chris, of his heart. I don't, that, you know, the myth two Soul Rider cinematics, the myth the Fallen Lord cin cinematics. Uh, They're all and, gone yeah, there were some, there were some old time like you know Bungie videos before Halo stuff. You know, like the little quick time vids that uh, you know that, that yeah. got put on discs and stuff. So anyway, yeah, those are all those. those are all gone now. All right. Well, anyway, so I think that's it for that. We just wanted to wait, wait, wait. Point I, out that we I knew that was happening. I guess. I want to read the dumbest comments I've seen on the internet. Are they mine? Uh, then you want NeoGAF. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> you want NeoGAF. No. All right, so you I want NeoGAF. So, some... Good, that's yesterday, a big, <laughs> yesterday, there was a... Bungie may be going after thread. Marty O'Donnell again, allegedly being bullied and sued into shutting down his YouTube channel. Oh, man. I, uh, Reddit says, Bungie wants to shut down Martin O'Donnell YouTube channel. And then here's the here's a story. Here's a story, a very highly upvoted comment, like literally the third comment. It wasn't Bungie that gave him shit. It was Activision. They're the ones who fired him from working on Destiny. His contributions to Destiny's, Destiny 1's original soundtrack were amazing works of art, as always, with Marty. But Activision said the music sounded too much like Halo. And what did they expect from the guy who wrote all the music for Halo when he's told to write music for another futuristic sci-fi studio? Of course, the music will sound similar, but it's distinctly different from Halo's music. That's bold. Like none there's, of that's true. There's none of that is true. There's not a none single it, accurate statement nothing. in that. And yeah, a lot of, I've read a lot of stuff that has been like that. There's just, and even people who have some of the stuff, right. It's it completely, completely without context. Exactly. You know, there's yeah. another this one, one here. This one was the best I saw. This was, this was the okay, summer that, that was written by Brini 04, uh, in the, in the destiny of the game subreddit it was kind of the yes, best most one summary. This was better than most of the professional websites were in terms of yes. connecting it, this for, to for, the history for the viewing audience at home. Can you full screen that? Because there's no one going to be reading that text at that screen size. <laughs> yeah, well, um, just say, and, just saying, we, we, there we you give go. It like a tiny URL for the people to look at it. Yeah. You yeah. Zoom in. There but you this, go. That summarizes kind of the stuff we knew that um, Marty was working on Destiny soundtrack, and he was really um, he was really into it, and he was kind of being an asshole, and he uh, really felt he he really felt hurt about them using licensed music, and then it's just a recap of the, of that bullshit. Right. But, but it, really at least if somebody wants to pause the video, they'll now. they'll be able to yeah. partake in this, which, or at least which, find which, the URL and look themselves. Which I think is very, you know, it's all that's all very relatable. Uh, but again, the allegation here is that you know after the rest of Bungie leadership wrote a letter together with him, telling Activision they didn't like this, they didn't want it being done, and then Activision responded by asserting that they thought it was within their rights for the in their contract to do so, and they were going to continue to do so. People were willing to go back to work on the game, and seems like maybe Marty wasn't, or at least that people in the department with him felt that things were being delayed because he still <clears> wasn't <throat> happy. He wanted to go into Activision with a game of chicken and say, we're not continuing with this until you change your mind about that. And yes, right. it will hurt us because presumably at some point we'll miss a, we'll miss a milestone or a deliverable that would trigger a payment. But it'll also delay the game, which you don't want. So, you know, and it seems like he was willing to make that bet and it doesn't lost. seem like anybody else was. 
And that seems to be what triggered his departure as well as the other things. Because again, what, what they blamed Ryan for doing, the non-payment of the vacation pay and the, and the thing where they literally, you know, completely reissued a whole class of stock just so he wouldn't be able to vote in a board of directors. They would, it, it seems to me they were afraid. They were afraid he was going to do something, that he had the power to stop the company from doing something and that they absolutely needed to make sure he couldn't do it. Well. All right, well, anyway, yes. so. Tangled web we weave. Ah, the joys of video game anyway, development. Right now it's just being dramatic on the internet and we're not actually sure what's going on because it's also being no. deliberately uh, um, vague. Because that's what uh, yes. does. Yeah, that, that is also true. All right, so. Uh, These things happen. So without further ado then, if we have finished up with this particular topic, then we're yes. going to return now to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Not to be confused with the Canadian version. Yeah, not to be confer confused with uh, Marty O'Donnell's Legal Nightmare. I Which apparently wait. he'd like you to pay for by buying I, versions now, of Golem I repeatedly. I paid $40 for that Golem soundtrack on vinyl. 40 I Yeah, but well, look, dude, it's it's on vinyl. And, you know, yeah, well, but uh, so he's selling it for $7 on Vancamp. Uh, okay, all right. Obviously, vinyl is the inferior music format. So he's selling it for $7 yeah. on Bandcamp. <laughs> if you're the type of person who will buy music and you like video game soundtracks, go for it. It's Shit. pretty good. What are you, the King Hillbilly? 